Thank you so much for meeting with us today. And would you mind going ahead and introducing yourself? Yes, I'm Kari Walgren, and I'm a voice actress. Wonderful. Right, so my first question for you today is you've played some pretty vicious characters throughout your career, such as Magnus and Adam, <laughs> such as Magnus and Adam and Harley Quinn in Gotham Knights more recently. How do you get in the mindset to play characters for preschool shows like Todd's and Pupstruction? Um, you know, it's it's so funny. I. Well, I just became a mom 11 right. months ago, so so the whole preschool age shows have taken on a whole new kind of specialness to me, right. um, so I definitely tap into that. But I think we all have kind of a dark side, and even if we don't flip someone off in traffic, or even if we don't say what we really want to say to the person that we, you know, get snubbed by and somewhere mm -hmm. all of that is inside of us so with the villain characters it's just a fun excuse to get to let that darker side out um, so people always ask me is it more fun to play heroes or villains and it's it's always villains it makes sense you get that nice relief yeah <laughs> then you can look at your baby and go all right it's toddler time. don't act that way like, yeah. <laughs> that's okay thank you um, oh, and then you just released an awesome jazz cover of Nothing But A Good Time on Spotify and other platforms. I really enjoyed hearing that. But um, what inspired you to do that version instead of the original? Because it seems like kind of like that soft rock is like more of your thing. And this, yes. it felt very natural, so I'd love to know how you came Thank up with that. Thank you. Yeah. Um, uh, honestly, I, I had started going, I loved hair bands when I was younger, but I wasn't allowed to listen to that music, really. Oh, okay. So uh, when I was an adult, about probably back in about 2016, I started going to concerts and just fell in love with it. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I found that, oh my gosh, I'm in love with this hair band music, but I, I can't sing it necessarily like the original singers mm. so I was like well how do I sing it and how do I make it my own and how do I do it you know in my own special way and um, I've always loved jazz mm. and I grew up with jazz and I grew up with musical theater and so I started hearing some of these songs in my head in jazz versions and so I just started releasing a couple of songs like that and it's been really fulfilling it's been a lot of fun that's awesome thank you Hey, ben, uh, oh, so you've reprised very popular characters like Saber from the Fate series, as well as um, Haruko from FLCL so many years later. Have you had trouble getting back into these voices, or has it been more of a natural thing to revisit them after so many years? Ah, oh, that's such a great question. Um, you know, especially with FLCL, I never thought we would do a sequel. After people would ask over the years, and after a certain number of years, I would think to myself, let's just give it a rest, guys. They're never going to make a sequel, right? You know, 13 years think, later. Yeah, after a decade, you kind of want to yeah, give up. Yeah, you just kind of think, well, it's just never going to happen. But um, when we went back into the studio for the FLCL sequel, it really, one line in, and it felt like putting on your favorite old sweater that just was so comforting and so, uh, even if you hadn't worn it for a long time, it just immediately felt good. And everybody in the studio kind of just looked at each other and was like, oh, we're back, baby. Yeah, we're back, yeah. <laughs> So um, with that one, very much it felt that way. And with Saber, you know, every time I've gotten cast again to be able to play her in one of the titles, uh, they keep some voice reference. And uh, usually it's just Excalibur, and then we're back. You know, it's like, oh, yeah, I'm back in the headspace. So it's kind of like just slipping on that fun sweater. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. All right, and then um, on that note, are there any lines from characters that you've voiced that you just use in your daily life, like something that resonated with you or was just really funny and quirky that you like to use? Oh, my gosh. I do, in fact, say kitty, kitty, meow a lot from FLCL. Uh, that one has just crept into the vernacular, and I have cats. I love cats. So very fitting. And so the snarkiness of it also, it's just great. <laughs> yeah. For me, it would be um, you as Rain saying, you know the word avaricious? Wow, that's such a good word. Anytime I hear someone say like a big word. I'm that's like, oh, amazing. That's <laughs> you get major points for that one. Oh, thank you. <laughs>
Uh, and then, uh, oh yes, uh, so you've, uh, do you ever play, I know you like some video games, more old school stuff, but I was wondering, since you've done so many video games yourself, like um, Lena and Kitana in uh, Mortal Kombat 1, and Erin in Final Fantasy 15, as a DLC character, you can use her. I was wondering, do you ever play yourself in these video games, just to kind of get a taste of like the other side? Um, I do, but I play badly. <laughs> like, I play so badly that if that I at all, like, like I, I like to do it just so, so I can kind of see how the gameplay really turned out. Mm -hmm. But if I want to get any further in the story <laughs> or the levels, I just have to watch clips on YouTube or something like that of people playing or doing the cutscenes because I'm such a bad gamer. Oh, that's totally true. So what are the games that you like to play, like, normally? I'm, well, okay, as far as video games, I'm super old school. Like, I, there's something just very comforting to me about Ms. Pac-Man. Mm. And, you know, Mortal Kombat 3. Okay, like, that yeah. was my gateway Mortal Kombat game. Um, so, you know, they have the, the consoles now where they've got all of the old classic games right. built in there. And so that kind of takes me back to way, way back to childhood. Um, I was playing Mortal Kombat 3 in, like, Texas Roadhouse yeah. for dinner. Pizza Hut. <laughs> Pizza Hut! Oh, my God! Okay! So I... Oh, my gosh, you know! Yes, ma'am. Yes. <laughs> You're my spirit sister on that, so Thank absolutely. you very much. <laughs> oh, okay, so I think that's about all the questions we have. Um, so do you have any final words for your fans? Any upcoming events that you've got you'd like people to check out? And anything you can tell us on future projects? I know you, you usually know a lot more than you're entitled to say, but anything that you can. Um, or have people look out for it? Well, I can't say. I mean, because it's out right now, I can say that the re the most recent series season of Rick and Morty is out right yes. now. And uh, I've got some really fun stuff in that season, which is great. We normally do Jessica and the ship as well. And the ship. But they're, without giving any spoilers, there's another character that comes back in this season. That oh, that's was exciting. a really fun episode to do. Um yeah, the rest of the stuff I'm under NDA, so <laughs> like I can't talk about it. Uh, but um, fans can find me on social media. Um, I'm at Kari Walgren on Instagram, and I have a Facebook official page. I'm on TikTok. Uh, I'm on the artist formerly known as Twitter. Uh, so I, I really do love hearing from fans and kind of connecting with fans there. So um, follow me, and let's keep in touch. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much. I guess those are all the questions for today. I really appreciate you spending your time with us today. Thanks a lot. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you.